Hello guys, it's Mickey. Welcome to my channel. And if you're just doing to my channel, please subscribe, turn on the notification bell so you can be notified each time there's an upload coming from me. On Thursday, I didn't upload any video. I'm really sorry about that. I've been running around for some issues. So um stay tuned. Just bear with me. I'm really, really, really sorry for not uploading. My priorities is actually meant for you guys and I didn't meet up. So I'm really, really sorry. So today I'm going to be talking about the percentage of hydroquinone that is safe to use on the body. Firstly, when people hear the word hydroquinone, they are quick to judge the product that contains hydroquinone. Yes, we know that hydroquinone causes green veins, body odor, discoloration, but that is when it is being used in excess. So now, what percentage of hydroquinone is right to use on the body? I would say 2% is safe. But then again, it shouldn't be used for a long period of time. In case, you know, in cases where the cream contains 2% hydroquinone and you keep using and using and using it, um, you'd notice your skin begins to wear out. That's why we get to say it's better for you to add a little bit of organic product when you've noticed your skin is, begin, is, begin, is becoming thin. Sorry about that. If your skin is becoming thin, then you need to go for organic product to help um, reshaping or strengthen your skin again. Because most times the upper layer of your skin is meant to be a little bit, not completely soft and not completely hard. It's just meant to be normal. That's exactly what I mean. So if you're using hydroquinone for three months, that's not bad at all. Because hydroquinone fades dark spots, discoloration, dark patches. I know most of you will be like, discoloration? How come? It causes discoloration. Yes, hydroquinone also causes discoloration. If you notice, when you get to use hydroquinone, what is necessary for you to use is for you to add sunscreen lotion to your hydroquinone. But most of you do not add sunscreen lotion into your base cream. You just use it like that. And since you know hydroquinone is a bleaching cream, not like a really, really bleaching cream since it contains 2%. 2% is safe to use. It's not a bleaching, bleaching cream. It's when you've actually used it over time. Then it becomes a bleaching, bleaching cream because it makes you white. But what is needed is for you to add sunscreen lotion so you don't get to have a tanned skin each time you go out in the sun. That is exactly what I am trying to say. So, again, hydroquinone is different from steroids. For people who get to say hydroquinone and steroids is the same, no, I'm going to actually correct you today. Hydroquinone and steroids, it's not the same. They're definitely not the same, and they're not even close to being the same. Just excess of hydroquinone is not good for the body. I keep saying it. Excess of everything naturally is not good. So, excess of hydroquinone is not good. But when you're taking 2% of hydroquinone and you're using it for like three months, just 2% alone, that's practically safe to use on the body. Especially for someone who has um, dark patches, discoloration, um, dark spots all over the body. It tends to help fade it off over time. Most times, if you guys are actually using a cream that makes you look beautiful and it, it only says it contains plant extracts and you feel the ingredient actually does contain plant extracts, it's a lie. I can actually give you an example or state an instance where we're being told that dodo, the so-called dodo contains plant extracts. Yet, I remember using dodo and dodo gave me white dots on my body, discolored my skin completely destroyed my skin that's the word i need to use not discolored it destroyed it it gave me discoloration it gave me white dots but the ingredient that was added into dodo was said to be plant extract not even hydroquinone there are most ingredient that contains hydroquinone and yet the the company gets to state that yes it contains two percent hydroquinone and if you notice and you get to apply most of all those products on your skin they end up being very good if you notice they end up being really good and it, though it, it's used over time you get to notice some no-nos exactly what i mean get to notice some no-nos in the cream but i would rather go for a cream that contains two percent hydroquinone rather than go for a cream that contains only plant extract whitens me and give me white dots why would i want to do that that's a waste of money now i'm actually going to be direct with you guys have you guys actually um come across um some creams that tends to say it contains only plant extract and no hydroquinone, and yet it tends to destroy your body. Compared to a cream 
that gets the label it and says, oh, it contains just 2% hydroquinone and yet doesn't do damage to your skin. Think well, and I need you guys to actually drop your comments because I know you're definitely going to drop your comments. It's a question. It's been put out to you guys. There are most creams that are said to contain plant extracts and yet disfigures your skin, practically gives you white dots. But there are some other creams who contains 2% hydroquinone and it doesn't disfigure your skin. It doesn't discolor your skin. It doesn't actually destroy your skin, but rather it builds your skin and it doesn't give you stretch marks though yes hydroquinone over time gives green veins but we all know you have to use some oils to help prevent green veins that's necessary so most times the ingredient being used in a cream that contains hydroquinone like two percent hydroquinone matters like for someone who is actually trying to uh read off discoloration Usage of hydroquinone is actually needed for that kind of person. You need 2% hydroquinone and also other ingredients to be added to hydroquinone. The same thing actually goes for someone with a discolored skin. If you guys enjoyed my video, give it a thumbs up, like and share my video. Click on the link that will be displayed on the screen right now. Don't forget to leave your comments and I'll surely reply them. Love you guys to bits. Bye guys.